everybody. Welcome to One Drink, a podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Matthew. And I'm Oliver. And today we're going to be talking about awkward moments that are relatable to every one of you. Yeah. I've personally done all of the ones that we're going to go over. I'm pretty sure I've closed all mine. <laughs> and if you haven't done most of these, stop watching the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, everyone has been in these situations yeah they're just so and it's you know you go back and forth talking to people about awkward moments and it happens to you every now and then yeah. but you don't really realize how many mm -hmm. awkward moments that, that there are like on a daily basis even like just that like say your work or something you know yeah. there's there's you you don't realize it but now that we're kind of like going into it a little bit yeah you look back and you're like oh man yeah uh, Oh, oh, you know, yeah. It, it happens more often than not. Yep. Yeah. And I'm gonna get this one out of the air real quick okay. because so I'm not like a fashion savvy like kind of guy. Right. You know what I mean? I usually like wear shorts and a t-shirt or jeans and a t-shirt, yeah. which I'm wearing right now. <laughs> but I like when like colors match, color coordinate. Well, yeah. So you know, so normally <clears throat> on these shows. I wear a hat that happens to have the same color on whatever logo I have that correlates with the shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> In my haste to leave the house today, I grabbed the wrong hat for this shirt because I have a hat that matches this shirt. Yeah. And this is not the hat, <laughs> right? I usually also don't wear like hugely like bold colors like that are in contrast, so like blue and red. Yeah and black and white, so I am sorry for the loudness yeah. that I am portraying over here today. <laughs> for anybody that cares. Probably nobody cares. <clears throat> hey. Um, but it made me feel awkward when I realized it when I was sitting <laughs> in the car. And I was like, well, this is fitting for today. <clears throat> yeah, right? This you was not scripted. You didn't even mean to do this that. Was not scripted. <laughs> this was not scripted. Uh, so that awkwardness <clears throat> aside, man, yeah. kick us off. Um, so, so when you wave to someone, you don't know, and then they try to play it cool. <laughs> that have, I mean, yeah. What? You ever try to like fake it? Like, no, 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 yeah. over there. I wasn't talking to you. No, I right. was, there was somebody else waving at me at the same time. <clears throat> Not. Uh, so this happens on the golf course a lot. I don't know if it's just like the friendly thing to do, but a lot of people, they just wave. They just wave. Oh yeah, yeah. and like. So, <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm always, I find myself doing this all the time now, I'm just... So, with the waving, you know, the courtesy yeah. wave or whatever, I used to ride motorcycles, right? And it's usually a thing where, you know, if you pass another motorcyclist, right. you know, you give them a quick oh. little, yep, quick yep, little yep, wave, yep. right? <laughs> so, some, I had a crotch rocket for a while, or a sports bike, whatever you want to call it. There's... Uh, a select group of people that ride like Harleys or cruisers oh, yeah. that sometimes won't wave at oh crotch um, rocket. You know, yeah, like sports bikes or crotch rockets yeah. because they, you know, they just don't like them. So sometimes, you know, you get away, you know, you'll do a wave and you know they're looking at you and they <laughs> don't and they don't wave. So I'm riding one day with my buddy. He had a Harley. I had my sports bike. Right. And so this guy that was coming down on a Harley <laughs> was coming down the other side of the road and. We both waved, and he waved, and then intentionally pointed at me and flipped me off. Oh, shit. And I was like, <laughs> Damn. like, come on, man. Like, I'm, you know, I'm throwing you, like, what's up, dude? Yeah. And you're like, <clears throat> like, and he specifically, so right. obviously he was waving at my buddy. He's like, Harley, yes. Sports bike, <laughs> no. fuck you. Yeah. I was like, wow, man, that's super rude. <clears throat> Yeah. So. All right. So uh, this is one that I have definitely done uh, several times. And, you know, you go to yawn, you get a big, good yawn going. It's like, oh, excuse me. And yeah. you drool a little bit. Oh, Like yeah. a little bit, just like off the, <laughs> off the end of your lip. And you're like, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. But it becomes, so, th this little tiny drop of drool becomes yeah. such a big production. You're like, oh, shit. I'm sorry. I don't know. And it's great when you're like, human. <laughs> if you're sitting out in public and you, you just happen to see this person yawn, and they're just like, uh, uh, right. <laughs> you know I mean? And you're like, uh. <laughs> right. You're like shaking that guy. And then, of course, when you see a yawn, right. you yawn, yep. so then you're just mm -hmm. like, <laughs> you know, you yawn so you're not drooling. Or... It's 
a gargantuan challenge <laughs> oh. that I failed miserably. Yeah. All right, so <coughs> you're out and about and you're, oh my God. So taking a dump in public restroom and someone goes into the stall next to you. So <coughs> some people have a problem in taking general. a dump in public. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like they have to be like in their safe zone. Yeah. Me, if I gotta go, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if I'm at Lowe's or Walmart or Dick's. <laughs> I don't specifically like to use the bathroom at someone else's house. Right. I mean, you just never, <laughs> you, you know, never information know. <laughs> may be too much, but I take my time yeah. when I use the bathroom. Right. It's like my, it's my time. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, you know, if I'm hanging out over here and we're about to do a show, I'm like, to go use the bathroom real quick. I'm not trying to come out here 30 minutes later and be like, oh, I had a call, phone call. Yo, the, show, did, bro. the show started 30 right. minutes ago. <laughs> you missed the show, bro. I already filmed it. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, when I have to go, I have to go. Yep. I try not to go out in public, but if I do, and, you know, someone goes right next to you, I mean, you can... You just hear what they're doing, or if you're in a rampage yourself, they hear what you're doing. In a rampage. <laughs> I mean, in a rampage. <laughs> so it just, oh yeah, it's it's just a it's just an awkward situation. I, I just hate that when it's like when there's like eight or ten stalls. Yeah, yeah. Especially like if you're at like a like a rest stop on the throughway. Yeah. Those bathrooms are massive. Oh yeah. Yeah. And they got to go in the one that's right next to you. Ah. It's like, come on, man. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you just... Or even if you're at Walmart and there's 15 stalls, yep. you know, you take the one right next to the wall thinking, okay, they'll courtesy... Uh, right. They go right in other... stall, too. Right. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> So I was I was I was taking a shit in this bathroom at um, on the throughway once, right? And this dude, of course, saw right next to me. Has to do it. But he's like FaceTiming someone. Oh. So oh. like I not only can I hear this whole conversation, <laughs> and so this chick goes, uh, what are you doing? He was like, Oh, I'm taking a shit at the rest stop. I'll be there in like 30 minutes. She was like, You're calling me while you're taking a shit? And I'm just I'm just sitting there like, Wow. Is this in real life? Yeah. Like, you gotta I give feel him like I gotta just pinch it and go to the next rest stop and finish it off. You gotta give him credit, he was honest. Oh, I, yeah, but I mean, come on. Like, no shame, man. Uh, no shame. So, Alright, <clears throat> so falling and tripping is always, uh, is always awkward, especially if, you know, you're in a crowd or whatever and people see you. But <laughs> if it's not so crowded, mm -hmm. there's always that moment. I always scan after I trip to see oh, if anybody... Yeah, yeah. To see if anybody saw me. And the most awkward is when you, like, you're like, oh, I'm good. And then you're like, you look over and somebody catches you. And you make eye contact with that person and they're like, mm. like, yeah, I saw that <laughs> shit. And you're like, oh, damn. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> like, yep. So, yeah, I, I've actually done that at, um, I forgot. I was at a mall. I don't know which mall it was. But I wasn't. Paying attention, I wasn't on my phone. I just, you know, I was just looking. I ran, you know, those middle things they have, you know, you know, it didn't have the waterfall. It, it, there was something just in the middle. I forgot yeah. if it was a stand. I freaking ran right into this and just tripped and literally fell in a crowd of people. And I got up and like, I scanned. But everyone was, even people from the other side, you know? Oh, man. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, so, um, that sucks. Yeah, that definitely sucks. God. And I'm sure it's happened to you. Mm-hmm. Or somebody you know. Mm-hmm. All right, so you're out, you're talking with somebody, and, you know, you keep a good distance normally. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. But you not can like a, still, not like a close yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, and you can still smell their breath from, oh. and you're, you're just like, it's like you know that one they didn't brush their teeth, oh. or they got a dead tooth, something. Get now, makes it. now what do you are you? <laughs> I mean, not to be rude, but are you like, hey, buddy, you know, it, your breath stinks. Yeah, dude, no, no, I, no. You just let unless it go. they're a close friend of mine, right? You know what I mean? Like if it was you, yeah, I'd be like, dude, your breath stinks, right? 
Because I would want you to tell me that. I'd be like, oh no, my feelings are hurt. Right, suck it up, <laughs> right. bitch. <laughs> Brush your teeth, man. Right. Okay, good. I'm not going to judge you because your breath stinks. Everybody at some point has breath that stinks. Yeah. It just, I don't know why people get all butthurt about like being told that their breath stinks. Like, yeah. Dude, you're, technically I should be thanking you. For not exactly. letting me walk around with fucking breath that fucking stinks. <laughs> so, so if my breath stinks, just say it. But it is that moment leading up to yeah. that is awkward. And especially, I mean, if I don't know the person, I'm not just, oh, hi, what's your name? Oh, right. Matt, pleasure to meet you. Hey, by the way, your breath stinks. Yeah. Oh. And he's out. <laughs> never talking to you, you know what I mean? Like, you're never going to talk to me again. You'd be like, oh, this guy's a dick. But yeah, so that's happened to me a couple times, and I don't... I mean, I do brush my teeth, and I'm sure being out at the bar, smoking cigarettes and drinking and all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm just talking about that that odoriferous emanation <laughs> that comes from somebody's mouth. <laughs> Take that sophistication word. Say that again. <laughs> odoriferous emanations. Did you Google <laughs> that term to talk about with that? No. Did you just make that? Is that a real shit? It it should be a real word. The odoriferous emanations. Emanations. <laughs> I was just thinking of odor. Somebody readers. Google that right now. <laughs> and comment down below whether that's real or not. Because I want to know if that odoramicus, <laughs> ceramicus, Emma, whatever is real. Oh, where did I? I don't even I don't know. Fu <clears throat> I don't know where you heard that from. You must just... have been up watching Discovery Channel or something <laughs> last night. Oh, the Ripicus. Shibificus. The fuck? I'm, so, I'm moving on to the next one before you get too smart for me because I'm already feeling dumb. It's getting awkward in here. Uh, it's like one of those times where you're talking to someone that's real fucking smart and you're not. Oh, shit. Golly. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. All right. When you're a kid watching a movie, maybe a PG-13, maybe an R-rated movie you're watching with your parents, not quite old enough. Your sure dad's always, watch. your parent, hey, we yeah, yeah, can watch this. Gonna watch that one, and then a sex scene comes on. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's always what dads would say, oh, I forgot about this scene. Damn. And mom's like, oh my god, closure. Or you're just like, looking at a pair of boobs, and you're like, mom, mom. Yeah. And like, Looking around like, do my parents know that I'm watching this? Yep, so that has happened to me, definitely, before. 100%. My, uh, <clears throat> my uncle, he was, like, the cool uncle. Mm -hmm. He was pretty cool, but he, um, would just let us watch whatever we wanted. So, back then, we would get, you know, VH VHS tapes. We didn't know what the movies were, but... Showing our age on this one. <laughs> yeah, but he wouldn't sit there and he would just let us watch it, yeah. you know what I mean? There were definitely some sex scenes. Definitely in some sex scenes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so you know, back to conversating with people here and there. You know, you're talking, you accidentally spit on someone, uh, or someone spits on you. <laughs> you know, I know that some. No, I'm like <laughs> kind of self-conscious about like whether whether how much I'm spitting right now. I was too, but I. Um, I always know. When I'm talking, because I don't, I'm not really like a spitter when I talk. Yeah. But I always know when I happen to get to that point and I feel like I'm <laughs> spitting, because you can almost see it. Oh like, yeah. Coming out of your mouth, and there's that quick flash of, oh god, did they, did they see that too? <laughs> Are they like paying attention? <laughs> and it's like a good indication is if that that person like takes a step back or starts to lean away so, from you, you're uh... like, god <laughs> damn it, you Eat know, my breath stinks. <laughs> Oh, I just spit on them. Oh, right. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I don't think I've done it before, but, like, if I'm laughing and I go to talk at the same time, I know for sure I've definitely mm -hmm. sprayed a couple yep. people. You know what annoys me about that, too? Like, if <clears throat> someone's, like, really going on, like, into a story or whatever, and, like, they obviously need a drink <clears throat> of something, <laughs> and they get that, like, little white, like, that spit that just, like, accumulates in oh, like, yeah. the corner of their mouths. <clears throat> Dude, that shit drives me nuts because I know you can, it's making me like lick my lips right now because it's irritating <laughs> right. me. I know, I'll just stare 
I'd be like, I know that you can feel that. You're just hoping that he. I just, does I this just want, right. I just want you to go like this real quick. Like it's cool. Like you can work that into a conversation when you're talking. Do you know what I mean? You well, you're a bartender, so you could be like, Hey, Jerry, some water. Right. Have some water. Have some water. <laughs> Drink more. I'll give you all the whiskey you want right now. If you just fucking get some moisture in your goddamn mouth, bro. Because it's killing uh, me. It's killing me. <clears throat> yeah, that or like when someone's talking in the spit, like connects. Like to their like to their top lip or their bottom lip, like and you see it and like and it just it just, it just keeps going up and down as they're talking and you're like, I just need a tissue. Like, white and you're not out. even listening, you're just like, When's that thing gonna break? Right. And then and then they're like and then they're like, dude, right? And you're like, Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And then it's, and then you get a call next Saturday, like yo, you know what we're going skydiving this week, right? You're like, uh Wait. Uh, when did you ask what? me that? Was this when you had the spit dangling out of your mouth? Got it. No, I'm busy. <laughs> I got a show to film. Right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to stay in childhood here mm -hmm. with this one. Right. So you and me, we're sitting in class. You know, we get the little aisle down. Fourth there. grade? Four, maybe fourth. We are smarter than a fourth grader. I like it. Maybe, maybe we graduate. Now we're in fifth grade. So, you know, you're working at your desk or whatever. <clears throat> buddy's got a question. Teacher comes over, looks at the desk, bends over, and puts their... Fucking teach your oh, ass yeah. right in your face. Yes. Now, 99% of the time, it was a problem. But everybody, I don't care who you are, <laughs> male or female, somebody has been a hot teacher in your career oh, as a student. For sure. I don't know what grade it may have been, but I promise you everybody has had that teacher that they thought was hot. So when that teacher did it, it was okay. <laughs> but ah. all the other 99 <laughs> yeah. times out of 100, you're like... Especially if it's like a dude teacher, because you never know. It's like, if right. he hates you, he'll just let one rip. Maybe, oh, who knows? Dude, I, I don't know how I would react to a teacher farting in my face. It's depending the age. I mean, I'm either going to get... If I'm in the elementary, I'm just going to get laughed at and made fun of. Right. I'll be the... Yeah. Whatever, but if it's high school, I'd be the butt of that joke. No! <laughs> but if it's high school, I mean, I'm going to swear and get... Detention and probably expelled and yep. whatever. You ever get detention in high school? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a lie. <laughs> I never did. You didn't? Mm -mm. I also never skipped class intentionally. Really? I missed three days of high school. Wow. Yeah. Um, and one was because I got into a car accident. Yeah, I was in detention. My, mo had... my mom brought me from, so I was taking my PSATs. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to take it that morning. Got into a car crash. Totaled my car Damn. on the way to school that Jeez. morning. Obviously, they take me in the ambulance to the hospital, and you know my my dad shows up to the scene. Like as the door of the ambulance is closing, like right. I see my dad, and I'm freaking out. You know what I mean? They got me on the board with the thing, and the you know all this crap. <clears throat> so I get to the hospital. You know, I'm fine. I'm sore as shit. You of know, the course. airbags went off and I'm just, I'm scared as just hell. Got knocked you know, out. I mean, you know, like I'm 16, <laughs> you know, like not even 17 yet. Because yeah. back then you didn't have to wait to get your license after you got your permit. Oh, okay. Like you do now. You know what I mean? So I just, whatever. I was, yeah. so I was trying to go to school. <laughs> so we get out of the hospital. My mom takes me directly to school. Just like that? Directly to school. Wow. To try to take my, my PSAT. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we walk in the, into the school. I'll never forget it. My vice principal, who obviously they called the school, my you know my parents called yeah. the school and let them know what was going on. Vice principal is coming down the steps towards the front door as we're walking. Like you know, I'm walking in like you know like this. I got this. I got I got burns on my hands from the airbags going off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm all I'm all fucked up, dude. I still got my hospital bracelet on. Vice principal comes down the stairs stairs and long story short just literally tells me to go home and then I can make up the test <laughs> at a different so you just turn around time. and hobble out <laughs> and I just I looked at her and I swear to god I've never given a look of 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 thankfulness right because you weren't ready in to that sincerity that. to someone in my entire life like she was my hero right in that moment like thank you thank <clears throat> you yeah so I had so many detentions they had a Saturday detention where you had to go for five hours, oh. eight in the morning until. Ouch. So I had that for like, I think the whole school year. But it was like me, this girl, Missy, she knows, 
Um, there was a whole bunch of us that were just there every Saturday. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I rarely ever got in trouble in school, ever. Yeah. I was just, I just, the teachers always liked me in school. Yeah. For the, for the most part. I mean, you know, obviously there were some, my, my, uh, Oof, my, um, There's always some haters. You got some my like eye. my like ninth or tenth there grade. There you go. See, that wasn't hard. See, all you gotta do is say it. You wipe it away and it's gone. Just tell them. But now it's irritating the shit out of my head. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> well, anyways, let's move on from that one. Yeah. So, um, I'm horrible at telling jokes. I just can't remember jokes. Same. So <clears throat> telling a joke, but then forgetting the punchline halfway through. That's every joke I ever try to tell. I don't even try to tell jokes anymore. I, I don't either. Because I, I can't. But I have seen this happen. Like, <clears throat> one of my buddies, he was he was trying to, you know, flirt with a, a woman. And he's like, oh, I got this, blah, blah, blah. So he's telling this joke. And I could tell halfway through, because he's said this joke to me before. And it was just a dumb joke. And he forgot it halfway through, and I could just see him. And he's like, oh, duh. And, and he made, like, this horrible joke up. And obviously the girl was just like, you're not funny, dude. And they walked away and he's like, man, I forgot the joke halfway through. But as soon as they left, he, he told me the it. joke. And I was like, you idiot. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even tell jokes because I, I can't remember them. Nope. Me neither. Me neither. About that. All right. How about this? So, you know, I'm like, oh, Matt, you know, check, check this, check this picture I took of Lonnie earlier. You know, and you grab my phone. phone. Yeah. But then they start scrolling oh, hey. through your pictures, hey. and, you're, and you know damn well that if they scroll a few more, there's going to be a picture that they don't need to see. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, Take oh, 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 bro, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Give me that. Give my shit back. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then it's, especially when you see the picture that you know is after oh, yeah. the one that they don't need to see, you're like, <gasps> And it's funny, It's like, go this way, yeah. not this way. And that hasn't happened to me, but when I have given my phone... Some people do just... I think it's just rude. I think it's just... I think that's just habit, though. Yeah, but it's it's a rude habit. Well, yeah, Don't yeah. start scrolling through my pictures. Oh, I mean, man. No, it's different now. I mean, most of my pictures now are just, you know, of my kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or whatever. So, it's, you know, it's not like I'm 21 anymore. And, and <laughs> Sing, Oh, my God. What the... I've also become <laughs> smart enough that those kind of pictures... Delete. I put in a, No, I just put them in a separate folder. Oh, good. So that when you're scrolling through my camera, my camera roll... Oh, right, right, right. In another folder... <laughs> <laughs> that's you know but yeah that is a you know, the one that, that, is a, that is no, a that is pictures one. you know like keep up you know my wife and you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, like yeah. those yeah. ones those ones go in my folder those ones are for me <laughs> I keep those for later all right so you know um there's all sorts of greetings when you see someone there's mm-hmm. the handshake the slap the hug the so <clears throat> when you're going in you're going in for a hug, but the person wants a handshake. Oh, <laughs> and it just becomes like a weird. Yeah, you like don't know a, what to uh, do. You give the like this, and you're like, uh, the pa- it's, no power. Like, there's uh, nothing. You're just you, like, and then you're just like, hey, hey, hey what's going on here? <laughs> it's it's less awkward if like you you like really know the person like if they're like a good friend of yours yeah. or whatever and it's just like me and you're like all right hold on let's try it again <laughs> which, which one are we doing here which one are we doing here i'll do that with some people too that like i don't really know that well and it'll sometimes it plays out really well and it's just funny <laughs> and then you're like and sometimes it's like well i'm gonna go talk to anybody else except for you yeah like, now it turns into a disaster yeah. also would like the some people like to give the kiss on the cheek you yeah know I mean? it's an old school thing and um i like it's happened to me a couple times from like a a, a woman. Mm-hmm. I didn't know who she was, but I didn't know at the time if she was because she's just coming in. So I'm like, "Hey, is this what, what the?" <laughs> and then it's just a kiss on the cheek, and I was like, "Oh, Whew. I was like, dodge that one. Oh <laughs> my god, I didn't know what to do. I was tearing my head, but <clears throat> yeah, so yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. So. I've done this one on a on a probably on a weekly basis. Oh yeah. It's pulling a door that clearly says push. Oh or man. pushing a door that very clearly says pull. Yes. I've done it. I've and done it's it like it's you're like and it's like oh, damn it. <laughs> like you, it totally ruins the momentum. 
whatever idea mm -hmm. was in your head as you were going through the door, whatever you were going to do, mm -hmm. it's all been put on the back burner now. <laughs> because you just because you're just fucking thinking about that <laughs> damn door. Especially like when someone's following you and you're like, oh, I'll pull this door open, I'll hold it for them as they come through as well. <laughs> no. And then like you get stuck, then it's like a log jam behind you, you know what I mean? And then you look back and you get that look to the, from that person like, yeah, I've done that too. <laughs> but it was, you know, I saw it. Mm -hmm. That happened to be it. Or you try to play it off and you like look at the door, you like look up, you, like look around, like you're like, do, huh? Is this thing locked? See, I think it was locked. I think it was locked. Uh, so that happened to be in Florida. My most memorable one <clears throat> was uh, we were just down in Florida. We rented this house that the whole family had, and they were like, "Hey, Matt, you know, go get get us a drink or something." So I went to <laughs> same thing. It pushed or oh whatever did the wrong thing, ran right into it, and I mean it was just bung, and I thought the glass was gonna like I smashed my face. It hurt too, and I was like, and everyone was like, "Oh, good job, damn it!" You know, but um, yeah, that's not fun. No, I um, oh god, I tried to go through a oh, a revolving door. Yeah. <laughs> big sign right at the top. I mean, it 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 must have been this big. It said "out of order," mm -hmm. and oh. there was a normal door right next to it, like there usually always is. It's you just talking about those right spinning ones? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I walked and I I went. <laughs> Right into the same thing. I mean, you know, I put my hands on the little <laughs> bar to push it, and you know, that bar didn't go anywhere. My right. face did, and it went right into the thing. I was like, dude, uh, oh, I was like, oh my god. And then I was like, the fuck is wrong with this thing? And then I tried to push it again. Yeah. And then I backed up, looked at the giant sign, and went and used the next door. <laughs> okay, that was easy. It's cool. And then and you, you know, I can't forget to open like I kept, <laughs> I kept looking at the door like after I went through and was walking away. And as I looked back for the last time, I saw some Someone other guy else. do the exact yes. same thing, and I was like, yes, Good. was it me? <clears throat> All right, so this one is pretty funny. Wearing the same outfit as someone else at a party. So, never happened to me personally. No? No, but my, my wife, my fiance, whatever... Um, so we were on vacation once, or we were down at the beach or something, and she was wearing a, a bathing suit, yep. and somebody was wearing the exact same one, ah. and she got pissed about it, like pissed about it. <laughs> Felt super awkward, whatever. So we're in um, Myrtle Beach or Virginia Beach or something like that. She's wearing that bathing suit again. We're sitting at this like <clears throat> poolside bar, so like the stools are like in the water. Oh, you know, yeah. The water's you know about up to here or so, and yeah. you know we're like we're hanging out. Two, stu two stools away, doesn't a chick sit down right like two stools away from her with same the thing. same damn bathing suit on again? Wow! So it happened to her twice with the same suit on, dude. And she was like, she looked over, she looked over at me. She goes, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Did she? And I was like, I was like. Uh, uh, like I'm trying to think like, oh, what did I do now? Like, oh, oh shit, I forgot something. Like, I forgot to, uh, and I was like, what? And she was like, you don't see that? And I was like, uh, right, you're not paying attention. Uh, it's like, did you catch me looking at someone else? Like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. And she's like, and I looked over and I'm like, what that? Yeah. Bigger girl that's over there. She was like, it's the same bathing suit. I was oh, like, I go, I go. Yeah. Again? <laughs> <laughs> now, did she change right away or no? No, she just the only suit she we were only there for a day. Oh, so it like was the only suit she had. You know what I mean? Like we were already in the pool. The room was, you know, yeah. way up there. Like you know, <clears throat> but oh, she so was, she was super pissed. This <clears throat> we went to my friend Carly and Joey's. It was like their party. Mm -hmm. So I go there. I had a white shirt, camouflage shorts on, and some Nike. Air Max is on. Yeah. Sneakers. That's what I was wearing. <clears throat> I walk up the driveway and my friend Josh has a white shirt, camouflage shorts, the same Nikes I'm wearing. We both have black socks on. Same camo shorts? Uh, pretty much to a T, yes. Oh my God. Yo, I could not believe it. So I, I Ubered there. Like, I couldn't. Right. I couldn't just. Dip. Nothing to change into. 
we both looked at each other. He's like, I'm not changing. And I was like, well, I'm not changing either. And, and we both started laughing because down to the shoes and the socks. Oh, my God. Uh, did one of you guys end up leaving? No, we were there. We stayed. We obviously had to hear the bantering throughout the whole of night. Of course. But, um, because you guys were now the new main attraction yes. of the party. <laughs> But it was fun and we had a good time and you know, that's cool. Good sports, well, you know. <laughs> but I mean, what are the odds? Right. I had, right. Th these Nikes were black Nikes with neon green. Yep. Neon green. <laughs> the, the pocket thing. Who has those? Barely the two of you. Josh does. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh. All right. Here's one that I think that everybody can <clears throat> can definitely relate to. All right. So we're at a restaurant. Oh yeah. Right. We order. Server brings our food over. They say, all right, guys, enjoy your meal. And then you say, thanks, you too. Oh, I have done that. And you're like, why did I just why say I just, that? Why did I just say that? <laughs> why did I just say that? Do you hear that a lot? I hear it almost daily. And it's funny, so when I was doing the research for this, <laughs> I, had, I did the research for this on Thursday. Yeah. Um, and I worked yesterday, Friday. Um, and someone literally said that to me. I was like, all right, guys, enjoy. Let me know if you need anything. And they were like, thanks, you too. And as like they said it as I was walking <laughs> away, and I was like, yep, me too. And I, wow. like, I, I glanced back, <laughs> and the guy was like. <laughs> <laughs> he like, knew right away. <laughs> what did I, I say that? that? What did I say that for? <clears throat> yeah, so that's I have done that. Uh -huh. But the person I was with, I said it, and then the, the person I was with was like, why did you say that? And right. I was like, what? And they like, said, you too. And I was like, did I? Did I? Yep. That's, I did that to the pizza guy a couple weeks ago. <laughs> See what I'm it off. He was like, you know, gave him the tip. He was like, all right, thanks, man. Enjoy. I was like, all right, you too. <laughs> and like, I, and I closed the door. So like, like I said it like as I was closing the door and I'm standing inside the door like, ah. I was like, do I open the door and be like, ah, my bad. I didn't mean to say you too. You know, I have a good night too. Uh, he's usually they, just they, like, they, you like more awkward, you know, yeah. you're like, get the fuck off my lawn, man. Go home. Uh, so, <clears throat> this one, you know how you're walking, there's a group of people, and you, uh, you know, you, you sidestep, but then they sidestep the same yep. way, and you're like, oh, and then you go to do this, and then they... Oh. I always give the, I always say, <laughs> I, what, I, really need, I really need new material, because I say the exact same thing. I'll be like, oh, shake and bake. <laughs> And then like I'll just juke off and do oh. that. That's why I say it every single time. Do you? Yeah, I say it every single time. <clears throat> but then I'll say it. I'll be like, oh, I've done that to that person like nine times now. I was like, <laughs> I really need some new freaking material, man. Yeah, I just stop and I'm like, after you. Right. You know? Just I, I just wanted to end you because go, I'm right. just like, I thought I gave him the good left juke, but then I was like, I, you know, the yep. good right one. But the, he, they're he just right there too. with me. I'm like, like, you play defense? <laughs> yeah. You should. Uh. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, so here's probably the one that uh, instills the most amount of awkwardness <laughs> for me. So you're walking, maybe you're on your phone, maybe you're talking to someone, you're not quite paying attention to like, you know, the sidewalk in front of you or whatever, <clears throat> and there's a step down, Oh. and you're ready oh. for flat, yeah. right? And there's a step down, and you get that... And it's so, it's that it's like, it's like jarring and it like it, you feel it like resonate from your heel like oh, yeah. all the way up to your friggin' brain. That or when there's a slight incline and you do this like you're not, you're ready for it to be flat and it's <laughs> up and you're like, oh, oh. So with that step down, sometimes like when you go down, you know, your knee. Like, yeah. I'm just like, I'm so lucky I didn't just snap my leg. Yeah, like it fold backwards. And then you try to, you know, save yourself, but eventually fall. Yep. So. Yep. That has definitely happened to me a few Same, times. Same, man. It is so <laughs> uncomfortable every single time, especially when you know that someone's yeah. like saw you do it. Or if you have stairs in your house and you think you know your stairwell and you're just going And you're down. not at the bottom yet. And you're just like, what? Donk. Yep. You think you're at the last <laughs> yeah. step and you're not. I start like it's like when you're you know you're carrying something you know what I mean you like feel around with your foot <laughs> yeah, you're to, really at the you bottom yeah <laughs> feel like what are you doing I was like just making sure I'm at the bottom <laughs> so I don't fall right <clears throat> um so yeah that's the that's all that the was, I have. yeah that was my last one I mean, obviously there's 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds a of million these. more. We just decided that you know to break down yeah. our top, our top ones. And we know that all of these have happened to you, hundred percent. So if so, comment below. Let us know, or if you have other ones, I mean. Yeah. Don't make now, it what's awkward. What's your most awkward <laughs> yeah. moment? Definitely let us know in the uh, <laughs> comment section down below for sure. Hell yeah. Anyways, got a shout out today? I do. Uh, uh, my friend Erica, she makes custom nursing and children's clothes. Mm. So basically, clothes for women that breastfeed. Mm -hmm. um, she makes everything from tank tops to pants to semi formal gowns. Nice. Um, you can go to Alice's Wonderland Custom Clothing on Facebook. Nice. Ladies. You will not be disappointed in what she makes. She is awesome at what she does. And she makes children's clothes, too. Oh, well, that's cool. So I have to check her out. Yeah. She can make a Green Bay. Oh, thing yeah. Thing or... But, um, yes, Alice's Wonder Wonderland Custom Clothing on Facebook. I'm going to put the link down below with her phone number. Get a hold of her. She does fantastic work. Awesome. Super cool. Yep. Um, I'm going to throw a big shout out to my niece. Yeah. So <clears throat> she's 10 years old. Mm-hmm. And she started a YouTube page, mm. or she started a YouTube channel, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, so she creates these characters um, that she draws and comes up with yeah. um, digitally, and then she puts them into like a light animation, mm -hmm. and then adds music and commentary and you know yeah. all this kind of stuff. So she basically makes her own little like cartoons. I've seen some of them. Yeah. So um, her. Uh, Facebook or her uh, I'm sorry her YouTube channel is called Hollow Edits mm -hmm. H A L L O W E D I T Z put the link down in the description below yeah um, she just reached a huge milestone What's overall that? she is up to twenty five thousand subscribers 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 on her YouTube channel twenty five thousand good for her in relation Wondering Podcast is at one hundred eighty six yeah so start clicking the sub button. 25,000. She's 10 years old. Yeah, she's 10 years old. She's only got six videos that she's made. She's only got six videos. Six videos. You want to know how many total views <clears throat> she's up to? I, I that she just surpassed? Is it a million? 1.5 million. Wow. Good for her. 1.5 million total views and 25,000 subscribers. Good for her. So, my niece, Hollow Edits. Please check her out. If you have kids, they will definitely understand and like this because yeah, that's for sure. all the adults that I've shown this to don't understand it whatsoever. What but is this? Apparently, there's 25,000 people that do understand it. Yeah. So definitely check her out on YouTube at Hollow Edits. Again, put that link down below for Good you. Good for her. That's yeah. awesome. No, I think it's I think it's super cool, man. You know, it's I it's tough enough to make it. <laughs> Tell me that. on any sort of media outlet these days, um, but you know, for a ten-year-old to to do it on a tablet yeah. with free apps, I, you know, I, I can't, I couldn't be any more proud of her. Yeah, exactly. You know, and and she makes she makes it a point though to let me know oh, how I'm popular sure. she is. I'm and sure. She texts me from her mom's phone. <laughs> I'll get a text from Jen and be like, "Hey, Olive," which yeah, what she calls me. So I got a 10 year old making fun of me, so it's cool. She'd be like, hey, Olive, and she just turned 10. She's like, hey, Olive, just wanted to know, you know, some of my subscribers are going over to, to one drink. I'm like, thank oh, you. So my 10 year old is gifting me subs. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> but I love you, kiddo. <clears throat> Keep on keeping on. No, that's cool. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a little jealous. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. She gets more in a day than we have in since March. We're our time will come. That's our motivation. Our time will come. She's motivating yeah. us. Yeah. Are you better than a 10-year-old? What grade is that? 10? 6? 7? I think a junior high, right? 7? 6th six, six grade, maybe? Nah, I don't even know. Are you better than 6th grade? Are you more popular than 6th grader? How many subs? No. <clears throat> so, yes, that is our one drink for the show. Yep. Don't forget, guys, uh, follow us on Facebook and YouTube, both at One Drink Podcast. Don't forget, on YouTube, hit that sub button. Yeah. Hit that little bell for notifications. That way you can be the first ones to be notified when all of our new videos come out. For sure. Follow us on Facebook um, for um, funny memes. Yep. You can see all of our shows, including our history show. And you can get in on our movie bracket. Yeah. Which is now in its 
second, second round. round. So, it's uh, getting interesting now. Yes. So I put it on a couple different yeah. uh, Absolutely. sites. Absolutely, yeah. It's pretty cool. You can go back and still vote. Um, yeah. We'll calculate it all up um, yeah. each round. Uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, don't forget to follow, subscribe, share. And as always, yeah, off to season four. Off to season four. That, that's right, dude. We didn't even mention that in the beginning, bro. This is the season finale. Yes. Of season three, <clears throat> man. So we are now officially 30 episodes in mm -hmm. of our full length show, mm -hmm. which you can catch every Wednesday at 6. Um, our history shows, which were probably 15 right or 20 same. deep, yeah. um, which are uh, released every Monday. And then <laughs> our uh, live shows, which we have an all new format coming up for you guys in season four, yeah. um, where we're basically throwing our hat in the ring of, of a talk show. Kind of, yeah. Where we're pretty much just going to chit-chat yep. about whatever comes off the, off the cuff. Obviously, it's unscripted. Our yeah. shows, all of our full-length shows, <clears throat> are completely unscripted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come up with a topic. We have a conference call every week. Yeah. We have um, a topic. We do our research. And then we go over it. Yeah. But we don't... All the other stuff we come up with is yeah. just what it is. Yeah. Um, so, so the live show will basically just be like uh, like we're at the bar. Talking. Yeah, it'll totally be off the cuff. Conversation. No, no research, no topic ideas. Yeah. We'll just see what kind of nonsense we can come up with. Exactly. But, I mean, pretty much our whole friendship we've just spent <laughs> talking <laughs> about nothing. So, you know, we could have other people enjoy that too. Though. Yeah. No matter. Just a different perspective of, I mean, we do a, a regular show, we do a history show. You know, now we got this. So. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, guys, for those that have supported us from the beginning, thank you so, so much. Yes. Uh, for those that have Appreciate just started it. to support us, thank you so, so much. Without you guys, we wouldn't uh, yeah. we wouldn't keep doing what we're doing. We're three full seasons in now. Yeah. And uh, we're not going to slow down. Yeah, we got we got some more funny, funny shows coming yep. up. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So <laughs> anyways, guys, cheers. See ya. See ya.